Hello and welcome to another YouTube video here on this channel. I recently did a video about Bright and the team contacted me and I decided to give it another shot. The last time I tried it I was struggling with syncing between devices but that seems to have been fixed and now I have tried syncing it with several of my devices and it works seamlessly. So today I am making a review or an overview of Bright, the all-in-one productivity app. I've been in contact with the team and they have been kind enough to sponsor this video. So I have a link down below if you want to try it out. I will just leave the link in the description for you to check out. But the app is trying to be your single hub for productivity. So it has a lot of features inside of it, everything from goals to habits, insights, which is their blog, diary, expenses, you can track your expenses, it has meditation, weather, ideas, memories, measurements, and it has quotes as well, and even countdown if you want a countdown to a specific day. It has notes and calendar as well. And I am going to review this app with my mental health glasses on because as you might know I have something called bipolar disorder and that keeps me overwhelmed. At least at times I feel really overwhelmed and having an app like this makes my life a lot easier. So I am going to review this with my mental health glasses on. So if you have ADHD or you struggle with feeling overwhelmed and a lot of these note-taking and to-do apps just doesn't do the job for you, I think Bright might be the answer to your questions. So the first thing and one of the most important things is that you have everything inside of one app, which means that there will be a lot less switching between apps and you can keep your concentration for a lot longer. It also has a Pomodoro timer, which I tend to use a lot when I am working. So that's another great feature as well. Another thing is that it you can easily uh, put tasks into it. So let's say I want to take out the trash. I still can't write. I still haven't learned how to write and I haven't been able to come up with a better to do than taking out the trash. You can add subtasks. You can even add a description. You can change the date if you wanted to and you can even add time. What I like a lot is that you can tag it with priority like most of the to-do list apps but you can also tag it with difficulty and a lot of the time when I am depressed I just need to start my day off with an easy win with an easy task to just get something done and feel good about myself and being able to tag this this with the difficulty makes my life a lot easier when I have a bad day I can just start off with doing an easy task. You can also do calendar blocking inside of it and it has an integration with iCal and Google Calendar. I haven't actually tested that because I am using Outlook Calendar as my primary and my work calendar so I haven't been able to test it with a Google Calendar. But overall the app looks really really good and it has a diary function with a lot of great prompts. So I am going to jump into this and we will check out one of the prompts. So let's do a mood check. So how was your mood today? It asks you a lot of questions. What affected your mood and so on? What was what is important to you today? So it has a lot of great diary prompts which is really really good because I've written a diary for as long as I can remember and it has helped me a lot and having something like this to get you started with the amount of prompts it has just makes it a lot easier. There is a lot of focus on mental health and ADHD inside of the app. When you have uh, your onboarding, you can choose why you are using the app. And one of the possibilities is to choose that you have ADHD. So 
I love the fact that they actually are prioritizing mental health inside of this app and that's why I like it a lot. So let's talk about some of the problems because like every app there is a few problems and this one is a very new app. It was developed in 2021 so it's only two years old and a lot of the note functionality isn't working as it is supposed to. So if we jump into one of my notes I can backlink things. So if I press a backlink and it is just hard to use the app because now I can't click underneath this but I can jump into this note and I can actually edit that note from this one. So I can uh, actually edit this note from inside the other one but the note taking functionalities inside of the web version isn't too good. But on the mobile phone and on the iPad it works perfectly and I talked to the team and I told them a lot of the problems I was running into. Some of them they have already fixed. It was a problem with the countdown not actually counting down when I didn't log on the web version but that's fixed. So they are fixing things and they are listening to feedback. At least they listen to my feedback uh, but the note taking uh, page isn't isn't good enough. I am not using this as my primary note taker. I have been using it for task management and I would say that it does a very good job for task management and it helps me unwind with the diary as well as the meditations. There are a lot of meditation prompts here as well and the app's pricing is actually really cheap. So the app comes in uh, at $3.29 each month which is cheaper than a lot of the note taking apps I'm using and this is an all in one solution which is really good. So it also has a 3 day free period where you can try out the app. I would recommend just trying it out and figuring out if it is something for you and if it works for you. Like with an every other app I would probably tell you to try out the app for a couple of days for a couple of weeks before you actually decide to make a yearly purchase. But the app is really good except a few bugs especially in the notes. They have fixed a lot of the things inside the task. Syncing now works great and it also works great on the iPad. So who is this app for? I want to start off with telling you who this app isn't for and this app isn't for people who uh, are vivid note takers and PKM nerds like myself. This is more for people who maybe feel a bit overwhelmed and just want something easy, frictionless to capture the thoughts, their ideas, their diary, even their small work related tasks or small private tasks. So I would recommend this app for those sorts of people but if you have been taking notes for a long time and you have a note taking app like Obsidian or like Logsec or even like Notion I wouldn't recommend switching. But if you feel overwhelmed with something like Notion or just feel overwhelmed in life in general which I know a lot of people do I would actually recommend trying out the app just to see that if it works for you and again I would say that you should try out the free period the three days and see if everything works properly and it fits your needs especially if you have ADHD or bipolar like I have we tend to jump into every new app every single day and after paying for the yearly plan we end up figuring out that this app isn't for us so I would recommend just trying it out see if it works for you it is a really good app you will probably still need to have a note taker on the side for now they are working on fixing the issue especially on the web version where most of the problems are it is it doesn't have a windows desktop app yet 
but they are developing quite fast and they are adding a lot of new things every single month and fixing a lot of the bugs every single month. I have seen a lot of improvements ever since I started using the app, but I like their idea, I like having everything inside of one app, and if they are able to execute pro properly, which I believe they are, this will be an app, a top rated app in a couple of years, just because the idea is so good. So I will leave a link to it down below, please do check it out, and I hope to see you again quite soon.